The one critical rule I have for your diet is make sure that every bite of food you eat tastes great. So human nature basically is to see what we can get away with, right? And whether it's how little work I can do at work and still get paid. But in food, it's what's the most amount of food I can eat and not gain weight. We find a lot of people can get away and not gain weight, for instance. But that doesn't mean that they're necessarily healthy. I was a, a top runner in the late 70s. And in the process of becoming a, a performance-based endurance athlete, I was looking at all of the ways in which I could enhance performance, primarily through diet. And the wisdom of the day was lots of carbohydrates. And over time, I had started to shift my diet around. I had started to appreciate the importance of healthy fats. So I'd started to incorporate more healthy fats into my diet. I'd cut way back on sugar. I'd cut back on the industrial seed oils. But the one thing that I continued to do was I continued to eat grain-based foods. When I cut the grains out, that was an epiphany. My arthritis went away. My irritable bowel syndrome went away. I didn't get sick anymore. I mean, it was, it was miraculous, the change that happened, simply by cutting grains out of my diet. And this happened, it's now 20 years ago. I was trying to be the athlete, you know, the prototypical athlete on the cover of Runner's World magazine, but I was falling apart on the inside. That's when I, I basically had to quit uh, high-level competition because I was so injured from this and shifted my thinking around to more research on, on human performance having to do with less, less struggle and sacrifice and more enjoyment of life, right? And then figuring out ways in which we can rebuild, regenerate, renew, recreate our bodies based on gene expression, in turn based on the signals we give our bodies that come from the foods we eat, the types of exercise we choose to do, the amount of sleep we get, the amount of sun exposure, things like that. So it's very clear to me that so much of our health is dependent on the choices we make in the foods that we eat. And this gets back to nutrient-dense foods and eating real food versus processed foods. In my case, it was getting rid of not just processed grains, but whole grains. And so today, I'm 65. I'm you know scrambling around a Frisbee pitch with 20-somethings, uh, sprinting to the end zone multiple times, feel great. Hey, let's go guys, defense! One, defense! Two. It's, it's total hunting. I mean, you've got you've to hunt the Frisbee down. You have to judge the arc of the Frisbee when it's thrown at you. You have to know how to throw it like you'd have to throw a spear. It is the most primal sport there is. 